Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at how to fix missing game mode in Windows 10. Most of the articles, guides, videos, etc. explain to you that the Europe and Korean versions lack the media technologies because of the antitrust lawsuit. That means that you need to download the Windows 10 media feature pack that's only for you in Europe or Korea. So you would click this link right here and this guide will be linked to in the video description so you can get any links and codes etc as needed and you come to this page you could download for windows 10 windows 8.1 and windows 8 you just click that and it'll take you to the correct page where you can pick your language and go ahead and download it so that's easy enough for those of you in europe and korea how about the rest of us well, let's make sure it's enabled with the windows key plus s just start typing game mode and when you see it click game mode settings and all you want to do is just confirm that it's on. It's kind of an obvious step, but sometimes it's the simple things. So as long as that's on, we can move on. There is a known registry issue where a key is missing, which ironically, um, both on VMware and my work machine, I didn't find the key in either one, but my game mode's working, but still it's worth you checking. So what you want to do is press your Windows key plus R and type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, regedit, click OK or Enter to open it. And of course, click yes with the user account control prompt. What you want to do is highlight this code right here and copy it. It's in italics. And then come up here, clear out the word computer, which is probably all you see right now. Control V and then you hit enter and it'll bring you to game bar where we're looking for. What you're looking for here on the right side is a key called allow auto game mode. If you don't have it, highlight this now. And then open Reg Editor, Reg Editor back up. And on the right side, cl right click and do New. D Word 32 bit value. And as always, it's worth mentioning that you might be on a 64 bit machine, but notice that it's not a D Word, it's a Q Word. Almost always, it's a D Word 32 bit value when you create the new key. So once you click on that, you can Control V or type in Allow Auto Game Mode. I'm a big fan of the copy and paste so that you don't make a mistake. As you can see, I already have it here because I was playing around with it earlier. So if you have the key, double click it. If you've created the key, now double click it. You have a value data here of zero and it's actually mentioned over here. Let's take a quick look. Zero is game mode off and one is game mode on. So if you had to create the key, it's almost definitely gonna be zero. So you'll just clear that out and change it to a one and click OK and you're all set. You will need to reboot for that change to take effect and see if game mode's on. And don't forget to do the Windows key plus S to verify game mode is turned on again, just in case. Now, another one people often forget about is accidentally uninstalling it. It's very, very common for us nowadays to, with Windows 10, to download a telemetry, anti-telemetry and uh, privacy app or or a app that removes Windows 10 apps. So you may have removed something. And once again, similar to the Europe and Korean version, because you're missing certain components, they expect the other components to be there to work together. So what we want to consider in this case, if you played with your computer and uninstalled any apps, is to take a look at apps. Now, you could go to the control panel, as an example, and go to apps. Where's apps? There it is. Go to apps and it'll list everything. And you can kind of see if the game stuff is installed, game bar. You may need the Xbox stuff. I'm not 100% sure on that. It depends how much you're gaming on there. But a better way to do this is to download an app like O&O, App Buster. So as you can see in the picture here, you just look at what's installed and what's not installed and make sure that it is showing as installed. And again, I might want to check beyond game bar, almost anything gaming game bar game mode um, I believe a bunch of Xbox stuff so you can download the app here it's free and it's portable which is nice so you click that link and just click the big old download now themed button we've recently added to make it much more apparent what you're downloading so that you don't click on the download under an advertisement which we always highlight in red so just to cover you there and as you can see, there's a video here as well to show you how to use it so rather than waste a lot of time here showing you how to use it you can follow that video on that page as well and there's a couple screenshots nothing major just to show you a little bit of how things work so once again just click the download now run it and when you've got your game bar and anything else you need for gaming installed which is really really nice as i said you'll notice 
even if you haven't used Ono App Buster, but you remove Game Bar, it'll show as not installed. And the nice thing about Ono App Buster is you can actually reinstall stuff that you may have installed that you change your mind later, which is not always that easy to do. So you, what you would do is you would click, say, Game Bar, click the Xbox stuff, and then you would, I think it's under File, the File tab here, or Actions, one of the two, and click on Install Apps. It will install everything for you, then you can reboot. And once again, don't forget to go back to Game Mode just to make sure that it's on after you reinstall everything. That should cover just about everybody from Europe to Korea to the United States to Australia and wherever you are. There you go. Reg edit. Did you uninstall it? Get the media pack. Pretty simple to do, right? There you go. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks for the likes and subscribes. See ya.